Coming up on DIY Network's Turf War. How long have you been doing landscaping and construction? Since I was 10 years old, so 23 years. It doesn't count when you're 10, dude. How long have you been life? The battle is on to give two boring backyards two unbelievable makeovers. Are you kidding me? You're sitting here giving me crap for all the concrete? All you got back here is concrete. Are you going to get it? For Team One, a high country getaway, including a relaxing seating area, flagstone walkway surrounded by boulders, a one-of-a-kind entertainment area covered by a tree post pergola with an attached barbecue island, and a humongous waterfall, all made of concrete. You need to stay on top of your crew. Oh, <laughs> buddy. For Team Two, a modern rustic party path, including a killer bocce ball court, adobe-style fireplace, hip new covered bar area with a fern grotto, railroad tie seating wall, and a unique nine foot tall centerpiece that pulls this yard together. You go and Dan, Jason was. The best transformation will win the $10,000 grand prize and a whole lot more. And they've only got two days to get it all done. <laughs> oh, it's on, it is on. The battle begins now. You guys ready for a turf war? Yeah! Two very ugly neighboring yards. Two teams of homeowners and contractors. Two massive landscape upgrades in just two short days. And in the end, one winner. Come on, Mid Hassan. This is a DIY turf war. It's 8 a.m. and this turf war is on. Team one, Tim and Melissa Angelo. Hey, come on. Tim is a chiropractor and Melissa is a cardiac rehab nurse, but it's their yard that's in need of therapy. The way our yard looks is very barren, very rocky, very dry, and very nothing. With some really pretty wildflowers, otherwise known as weeds. Tim and Melissa are looking for a relaxing family getaway with a whole lot less rock. We'd like a place to chill and relax. And the man who's going to help transform this rocky mess? If it's solid rock, it ain't going anywhere. General contractor Jason Walls. Jason has been building custom outdoor spaces since 2002. He specializes in custom concrete construction and can make just about anything out of concrete. I got the eye, you know, very artistic guy, you know. But you don't wear like a bandana and a fedora? No, don't rock that, no. On team two, Holly Harper Gross and Ryan Gross. There you go. Pull it, sister. Holly is a healthcare administrator and Ryan is a sales rep. They tried to fix up their yard, but all they did was mess it up. What isn't wrong with the yard? We've got dead patches everywhere. There really isn't anything redeeming about this yard whatsoever. Holly and Ryan want a unique party pad with eccentric stylings to please a crowd. We want to have a fun spot. We want everybody to come back, use this yard, and it be the place to go. Everyone but the neighbors right over there. We'll keep the rhythm going. There's only one landscaper that Holly and Ryan want on their team. I ain't messing around. Landscape artist Jake Moss. Jake's been landscaping since he was 10 years old and specializes in artistic designs with recycled materials. And joining Jake... If we were one man, yeah, we'd be perfect. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Contractor Doug Tolson. Dude, have you seen how organized I have it this time? Like, you see my signs on the side? I ain't playing around, man. At the end of day two, a panel of random neighborhood judges will pick the best yard based on the turf war criteria, including creativity, functionality, and use of space. The winner takes the title, the $10,000 grand prize, and... All right, so here's what we got, you guys. $2,500 in Craftsman tools, including a 19.2 volt 5PC3 combo kit. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and when they least expect it, Ahmed will throw in another challenge, a secret building material they must incorporate into their designs. Are you kidding me? Even I don't like that one, dude. What's happening? You tell me. Whole lot's happening, brother. So we're doing a really natural look. In the center, got a huge waterfall going in. Gonna be killer. Their yard will also get a flagstone patio with a barbecue island and tree post pergola, a dry creek bed railroad tie bridge, and a seating area with a tree stump fire pit. But here's the kicker, guys. It's all 
out of concrete. Everything what? that we're wait, doing. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> what? Back up. The bridge. Concrete. Steps. We're going with concrete. Uh, the rocks here, these will not actually be rocks, but they'll be. I'm thinking concrete. And then since you got a concrete tree trunk, mm -hmm. you might as well have. The concrete trees. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I like it. It doesn't even matter if I like it. Do you like it? Yes. Love it. You actually like Love it, it, huh? Yes. That's all that really matters, okay? Let's do it. Good, Good deal, you guys. Let me go see what they got going on next door. All right, so you guys, are you actually wanting to see what you're yeah, working on? Yeah, we do. We've <laughs> been waiting. Wait. You don't really have any concerns, right? No. Nope. No, it's Jake. I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what we have. Water feature. It's going to be nine feet tall. Oh, my God. Water's oh, going to wow. be gushing out. Oops. To the right is your fireplace, and then your bocce ball court. <laughs> Wow. Along with a new stained concrete patio with embedded glass, a railroad tie seating wall, and a covered bar area with an atrium for and grotto. You feel like you're in a freaking like atrium, indoor, outdoor sort of a feel. So there's lots of eye candy and it brings it in your freaking face. So you like it, huh? I love it. It's insane. Right. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my life. <laughs> We're excited. We love Jake Moss. Excited enough to kiss him? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not quite that excited. You out front, the battle's already begun. All right, guys. I need that truck moved out of the way. I got concrete coming in 20 minutes. It's not these guys' trucks, man. You got hey, truck? that truck's in my way from these guys. Trying to sabotage me. You got to talk to the to the concrete dude. He's over in the backyard. You talk to him. He's gonna have a fun time with you. I'm going in the backyard then. Going on to your job oh, site. Right. I don't give a. Hey, Rundy, man, told you to move that truck. I got concrete coming in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Get it out of here. I gotta find my keys. Hey, dude. Yeah, I gotta find my keys, excuse. I've heard that before. Let's get it out. This little guy talking a lot of mess, man. He don't know what he's messing with. It ain't moving. It ain't gonna move. Coming up, a special additive that allows concrete to become like clay. You try to stack up concrete. Without this stuff, it's just gonna fall over. And Holly learns how to make a patio. You know, this ain't nothing. Plus, Ahmed reveals the secret building material. Boom, baby! Come on! Yeah! Oh. So you do it like this, and then you, that's the style, huh? Yeah, you're gonna start rocking it. Trendsetter, huh? It's mid-morning on day one of this turf war. Tim and Melissa Angelo versus neighbors Holly Harper Gross and Ryan Gross. Where's the speed? Where's the energy? At stake, the turf war title, $2,500 in craftsman tools, and a $10,000 grand prize. It's 10 a.m. and the battle's heating up. I've told them three times to move this truck here and they're they're not getting it out of here. Team two is one of their trucks blocking access for Team One's concrete truck. What's going on, man? I really gotta come back here again? You go talk to him, man. Personally, I don't give a You need to stay on top of your crew. <laughs> oh, buddy. Make it happen. After nearly an hour of asking, Grundy finally moves his truck. Truck's out of there, pulling the pump in. We can get ready to rock, pour some mud. But before they can pump the concrete, they need to mix in a special additive. And this is the product we put in, it's called Wall Builder, Stonemaker product. And what we do is we mix this up with water, starts to react, it's a hydroscopic product. It sets from the inside so we're able to build it up, but from the outside we'll be able to work it. You try to stack up concrete, without this stuff, it's just gonna fall over. They add the mix to the concrete truck and pump it back. They create a retaining wall with added strength by using rebar and shape it out of concrete. So our wall is starting to take shape now. Now we want to start carving some rocks out of it. What you want to avoid is having a four-way, a rock that comes in here and another rock that comes in here, like that, because that's not going to look natural right there. See how everything comes into here in a three-way intersection as a Y? That's what we're going for. They mark their rocks and then carve out the joints top edge and then 45 degree angle. Yep. Once the shapes of the rocks are cut out, they add texture to the concrete with rock stamps. Put it right up against there just like that. You're just gonna hit it in with your hand. Forcefully? Forcefully. Okay. Boom, boom, done. Look at that. They alternate stamps creating different style rocks. 
and use a trash bag to smooth out the joints. Just a normal trash bag. You can even texture your rocks with the bag, too. Over in Team 2's yard... Everybody out except for the concrete team! They're running out of time before their concrete arrives. And they still have to finish framing the patio, so Grundy and his team double-time it. Once the rebar is in, they're ready for concrete. Your back straight, keep your right. legs under you. And then all you're doing is trying to keep it level with the board. Uh-huh. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now we go. You know, this ain't nothing. I've been working out. I'm good. <laughs> While they work on the patio, Doug gets Ryan going on a project out front. We're getting ready to frame the structure of the bar. Ever use the nail gun? Yes. You want to just go for it, or you want to refresh your course? I think I'm good to go for it. You see how that nail and that nail are lined up perfectly? Yeah. The odds of the board cracking go way up. Okay. okay? So what you want to do is always kind of stagger your nails. So is this the one that we're not going to use? Oh, we're using all this footage, <laughs> especially if you screw up. Been a while. Thank God I didn't buy the nails, man. You put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> Team one is rushing to get all 30 yards of concrete into their yard, forming natural shapes out of the concrete as it sets. Oh, look so, at that. For added strength, they place glass fiber reinforced concrete panels around the waterfall drop. And you see all these fibers in here? Yeah. That's glass fiber. So it's incredibly strong, even though it's only about an inch thick. Let's have a big, nasty drop right there. I'm bringing it today. Dude, it's going to be constant. It's halfway through day one, and Ahmed is ready to mix it up. Hey, Jason, secret building material time. It has nothing to do with concrete, so you're really going to have to be creative. Jake, it has nothing to do with old metal that's been recycled. Boom, baby! Come on! Yeah! Popsicle stick! See how creative you are now, dude. Wow. Are you kidding me? Even I don't smoke. like that one, dude. Uh, All right, good, because that's not really your material. Yeah. Your material's coming around the corner. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it. Hello to your secret building material. Downspout? Yes! Uh, we're good. Jake and Jason are both confused. I'm not oh, worried about the keyboard. Oh, yeah. Game on. I think garbage is better, huh? You like working with garbage, right? Hold it, hold I am. It. I am. He I'm works fancy. with me. What are you trying to say? <laughs> you are a craftsman. He is an artist, Wait, sometimes known as the white Jesse Jackson. Only when I lose. Only when he loses, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing this, stuff, and I'm tired of doing it, and I'm tired of people trying to put in like regular hardscape in the backyard. I'm tired of people putting plants with the green side up. <laughs> I'm tired of it, roots being in the ground. I'm tired of it. I ain't gonna take it no more. Coming up. Is this show called Trash Wars or is it called Turf War? Jake transforms junk into an amazing water feature. It's unbelievable. Plus, Holly learns how to age metal. This is going to patina it with streaks. And where's the polar bears, man? Is that what the penguins are going to be? The competition heats up. <laughs> oh, it's on. It is on. You can take the landscaper out of the city and bring him over here to El Dorado Hills, but you can never take the crazy out of Jake Moss. The clock is ticking down on day one of this turf war. This is insane. This is an insane amount of work. They're just starting the fireplace. We haven't gotten anywhere with anything beyond the patio, basically. In less than 36 hours, a panel of random neighborhood judges will decide which team created the best backyard makeover in just two days. Tim and Melissa Angelo, or neighbors Holly Harper Gross and Ryan Gross. This battle's getting even bigger with Team 2's next delivery. You ain't kidding, this is hella heavy. Terrence brought all the pieces to create the nine foot tall recycled water feature. What is it? It's an old fuel tank, but with imagination, it is a sculpture water feature base. If y'all want to follow me over for the craziness, craziness? Yeah. Yeah. These are airplane landing strips. They're probably from like the 1960s, wow. 1970s. This is gonna be sitting in that water basin. The water's gonna come up, and at the top, it's gonna oh. come gushing out. 
Terrence gets going on the water feature. So you're just gonna kind of sprinkle them down in a pattern. And Jake and Holly move on to another project, embedding glass into the concrete. I'm just gonna do this sort of irregular pattern coming out. It's gorgeous. It's gonna look sweet, and then we're gonna pack it in. They set the glass in the concrete by pounding it with a trowel, deep enough to completely cover the glass. Then they need to let the concrete set for an hour before they can reveal it. It's 2.30 p.m., and all of Team One's hardscape has to be in today, so they focus on the biggest project, the waterfall. I want this to kind of have some really cool textures on it, so I want to hold that trowel flat. I just kind of want to just give it some shelving, just like that. We don't want to make them too jagged. I mean, you kind of want to use this as something to sit on. Then they use a trash bag to add texture to the rocks. And just rub the roughness out of the rocks. See? So that's got texture on it now. Make it rough, make it natural. They're making huge progress on the waterfall. But then... Where's the water slide at? Where's the polar bears, man? Is that what the penguins are going to be? This is going to be a nice zoo. It's only a zoo because you're back here, monkey. <laughs> oh, it's on. It is on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You got a bigger patio than we do. You're sitting here smack talking all of our concrete. All you got back here is concrete. This is a concrete jungle. Concrete jungle, brother. Concrete jungle. Now that Jason's gone, team two can get back to work. All right, so the concrete is set enough, so we're going to start to expose the glass. See how the glass is now oh, coming yeah, up? Perfect. So just small little circles, and we're just going to keep going as long as we see the glass starting to peek Look through the at concrete. That. Now, when we hose this all off and get it clean, it'll be... Right, sparkly. Yeah. And we're just going to do this all the way around. Next, Jake shows Holly okay, so how to age metal for the Fern Grotto's back wall. On the cold rural steel, there's an oil film on this which prevents it from rusting. We want to get a reaction from the chemicals and the muriatic acid reacting with the oils. What I do is first, squirt down the acid. Now, look at the drips. Yeah. OK, so we got that, right? Boom. Do the acid, let it sit for maybe 10 minutes, come back 10, 20 minutes later, give it a squirt of water. OK. See, what this is going to do is this is going to rust it in streaks. This is going to patina it with streaks. It's going to look freaking gorgeous. So when we put that wall up, it's wow. going to look like a, like an art piece. While Holly sprays on the acid, the rest of the crew races to finish the patio and the water feature, because day one's nearly over, and the nine-foot-tall centerpiece has to be in today. What is this big, beautiful thing, see? Ooh. Metal is covered in acid. Really, do not touch. And I just touched it. OK. Terrence, I think you have finally managed to create the most funky looking monstrosity I've ever seen you create. And I won't hold you accountable because it has Jake written all over it. That's going to be one of the things you look at and you're going to say, what the hell is that? That's how you draw people in. That's art. That's what, it's what, exactly what you want them to say. You sound too much like Jake, man. I can't even talk to you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I trust your vision, but I, I'm still a little perplexed. Because you don't know exactly I what's going to happen. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And I don't blame you. When we fill that up with cobble, it's going to soften it up with the plants around it. It's going to bring life to it. And action and animation will be created from the water. I'm talking gushing water.